Welcome back, everybody, to GTA 5. It has been a while since we have been on this game, mainly just because the update support hasn't been crazy and my accounts are not that high of a level. But we are back today to look at the brand new Tuners DLC as I walk around my new auto shop here. But I'm Franklin. Should do a disclaimer here. This is my modded single player game, so Rockstar, please don't ban me. This is modded single player. I am not going into this setup. Multiplayer. We are in single player today to look at the garage, but also this new car. This is the in-game equivalent of the Lexus RCF, one of my favorite cars to come out in recent years. And as a Lexus owner, I have to say I'm a huge, huge fan of this car. But this car has some pretty insane customization as I've seen on Twitter. There is some stuff I haven't quite seen on it yet, so that is the purpose of today's video. Before we customize it though, we're going to take it out for a little bit of a drive stock to understand how it feels before we upgrade it. Let's get out on the streets. Quick reminder, if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe. It helps a lot, it's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for watching. Okay, we are now on the streets of Los Santos. First impressions are that this thing actually accelerates pretty decently. I'm actually really impressed. Listen to the exhaust note. I'm just going to turn up the game here and go quiet so you guys can hear the exhaust of this thing. This thing has a ton of backfire. That is super cool, the like verbalistness of it. The way it just kind of like rumbles. Let me see if I can get an overrun of that again. That is so crazy. I wonder if this thing has a new engine sound. It actually slightly sounds like that's a new engine. This thing stock actually drives hey, really well. I'm really impressed. Mode. Ooh, it's kind of slidey, okay. Let's get a look at the interior. Pretty basic interior. Like, kind of the same sat nav as some other cars. Steering wheel's different though, which is nice. Dash cluster seems to be different. But overall, there's not like crazy wow factor interior pieces to this car. It just kind of exists. It's pretty basic, which is good because this is a sports car. You don't necessarily want to. I think we gotta go find the mod shop though. The closest one is this way, I think. What miracle did you want me to perform? Uh I don't know yet. I don't know what the customization's got for this thing yet. So let's go through this. We're just gonna throw everything on there. Front bumpers, what do we got? Okay, that's like a Nissan bumper, sort of. Okay, there's the GT86 ish bumper. Whoa, that actually has a cool water spray and everything. Nice. Track bumper. Yeah, that's the most Nissan looking. Bumper, I think that this car has. So I guess if you wanted like an Ultima-esque looking car, that would be the bumper to go with. But I think we're gonna go with the performance bumper. Rear bumpers, some diffusers, some light diffusers. That's a little bit more intense of a diffuser. What do we got? Okay, that's like a a rocket bunny diffuser, sort of. Oh dang! I think we're gonna go with this one. Now that's a custom job. Engine block. Okay, so it's got like the typical V8 of GTA. Let's go with primary intake. I want everything to match. Valve covers. Let's see. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Super futuristic. Strut brace. Don't really care about this. We'll just go with some polished. Engine upgrades. Exhaust. Okay, box exhausts. Rounded exhausts. Oval exhaust. Those are interesting looking and then anodized exhausts i think i'm gonna go with those even though i don't like that the tips are red or gold or whatever color bright color don't like it would rather have something else now we get to the big part fenders does this thing have wide body fenders let's look okay it does but does it actually stick out from the stock location performance fenders okay Wow, those performance fenders are a little bit crazy. Yeah, we'll go you with got those. Great taste. Sure, this thing's going to look crazy by the time we're done. Headlight tints, can't be bothered. Hood catches, I want to be able to actually open the hood on this, and I'm pretty sure with hood catches you aren't allowed to, online at least, so we're not going to go with 
that we have a pretty decent variety of hoods here. 21 different hoods, even though some of them are just altered versions of each other. Let's throw the... Yeah, let's do this one. Interior, door cards. Let's just go to the street. Lightweight weave panels. We'll go with lightweight only. Seats, let's just throw something sporty in here. Painted track seats, sure. Steering wheel, I actually like the stock steering wheel in this car. So I'm thinking... Ooh, that actually looks really cool with the Alcantara. Yeah, we'll go with that. Roll cage. Are we going race car or are we going street car with this? I say we go street car and we just throw a half cage in there. Headlights, Xenons. We're not going to throw any... Uh, we're not going to throw any types of neons on this thing. Carbon mirrors, sure. Even though those look kind of weird because it's not completely carbon, we'll stick with it. Now, paint color. I kind of want to... Ooh, black actually looks pretty cool. But I'm kind of thinking that white might look nice. Oh yeah, that looks really cool with that body kit. So we'll do that. I don't know what the secondary color changes, so we'll just leave it for now. Get rid of that weirdish blue interior and just go black. Accent color. Yellow? Uh, no, we'll go with red. Roof, roof accessories. Do we have a roof spoiler for this? We do, actually. That actually doesn't look half bad. Eh, I'm not going to throw it on there. Roof, carbon inset roof. I'm going to go with the carbon ridge line. That actually looks really cool. Side skirts. I don't want to go with anything crazy here. Just something that sticks out further than the original. We'll go with carbon. GT if skirts. that car was a woman, I'd guess her. Splitters. Anything crazy? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little aggressive. But, I mean, we do have a wide body on here. Let's throw that on. Spoilers. We got our typical ducktail. That's more like a stock RCF spoiler, sort of, kind of. Oh, not even that big of wings on this car. If that's as big as we can go, then I guess we'll just put it on there. Sun strips, throw a primary one on there. Now time for suspension. Let's see how low this thing can go. We have street, which is reasonably low. We're lowered, street, sport. Okay, that's already ludicrously low. How much lower can competition go? <sighs> Okay, um, I guess you don't need V-Stancer to stance like your R RCF in, uh, online. Whoa, that is, that's a lot. <laughs> Let's throw some street wheels on here. Oh, we can't throw street wheels on here from in here. We'll have to do that outside on the trainer, but we will throw those on in just a second. We're going to throw just white wheels on this for now just to see how they look. Now we can go back and look at the liveries, because I didn't want to do liveries until the car was painted. So we have white stripe, black stripe, speed orange stripes. Those actually look pretty cool. Black premier stripe. That's weird. That's like GT3 RS stripes. Some sort of race livery that doesn't really show up because I'm driving a white car. That looks better in black. Look at how that goes on the window banner, too. That's awesome. Cool little detail there. Stance Andreas. Mind mocked. 029. Oh, this is this is actually a sweet livery. X720. Mama's. Whoa, that actually looks sick. And then, like, an anime character livery. Let's throw that on there, actually. I like how that looks. That is a fully customized RCF. Look at this thing. Whoa. Whoa. I actually really like the front bumper change. It would probably look cool on the stock front bumper, but I like the the old stock bump or the old 86 bumper thrown on there. That wing, I wish that wing was just a little taller. I like the diffuser, I like the wheels, I like the side skirts. I actually really like the wide body kit. I don't know where I've seen that wide body kit before, but I really do like it. Otherwise, though, that is it for customizing this thing. Let's take it for a quick spin here around the block see how drivable this thing actually is when it's uh, fully lowered. But before that, GTA added a new feature to the game where you can actually 
lower your vehicle in the quick menu. It has to be an LS Tuner's car, which this is. So we're about to hit that switch right now and see how low this thing can go. <laughs> oh my. Okay, it's it's touching the floor. So uh, that is completely legit in GTA. You can do that on the actual game. Not do the pods or beast stance or any type of stance modification. That that is all in the game. Actually, all of that. This thing is super fast. It's a little under scary, I think. But otherwise, this thing is super. Yeah, this thing's got some under scary. I think it's just because it's so wide and long in the car that it, it doesn't have the snappy uh, steering that some old cars in the expansion have. Whoa. Okay. I think that is going to do it for today's video. Customizing the brand new Emperor Vector in GTA 5. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like. It really helps me out understanding what types of videos you want to see on the channel. Be sure to also subscribe so you don't miss the next round of GTA 5 customization for all the new grip feed cards that have yet to join the Los Angeles tuners. And I'll be sure to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.